Hey everybody and here we are for a new video and I just got this package here and I'm so excited about this package because we got new customs in here. Um, not as usual, they are not going to go up on the eBay page. These are customs that I ordered for my collection and those are like really special ones. Um, a few of you guys might not be aware of who these guys are but if you are aware who these guys are uh, you'll go absolutely crazy I guess because this is like some really really great stuff in here so I would say uh, let's get right into the package I'm going to unbox it for the first time with you guys right here in the video okay guys got my tripod so I would say let's cut right into this package here uh, like I said I'm so excited about this um, where do we open this Okay, I got it. Okay, so here we have a little bit of a look into the box. I totally ripped it, but whatever, doesn't matter. I'm not going to reuse it anyways. Okay, so here we got them all backed up. So um, they are protected very well. I don't even know what to start with. I think we're going to start off with this pack here and first off I have a custom that I wanted for a while we had similar ones in pre previous custom figure reviews and I got for myself a Cody Rhodes a new Japan attire uh, he probably wore that on some other shows as well, but this is like incredible. He wore this at Dominion in the match with Michael Elgin. I just love the attire, kind of um, reminds me of the AJ Styles Wrestle Kingdom 10 attire. It's just Cody's version of it. Really awesome, I'm so happy about this. Um, as always, like the repainted Stardust head skin is so awesome. Man, so glad to have Cody like this in my collection now really wanted it like I said so yeah finally have one of these as well then there's also another custom in here and I think I have to be a lonely warrior tonight because we have we have a custom elite Minoru Suzuki if you guys are not familiar with Minoru Suzuki he's from New Japan and yeah, this is really awesome. Um, what I really love about it is the uh, job he did on the hair. Um, looks absolutely incredible. I think the head skin works well. Like if you look at it like from the side for Minoru Suzuki. Like he's kind of a tricky guy to find a, a fitting head skin for. But you know with all the hair and the uh, mohawk here or however you call it. Um, that looks very very good on this side he has like some of his designs here and yeah I think this is really cool we got Minoru Suzuki from New Japan uh, if you want to check out one of his matches I would really recommend one of his Okada matches uh, either from a earlier pay-per-view this year or um, from the G1 they had a pretty good match in the G1 as well so uh, if you want to check him out um, go ahead and do so. Uh, I, I like wasn't like the biggest Minoru Suzuki fan, but like watching him in the G1 for like I this was like kind of the first whole G1 that I watched and I was really impressed with him and Here are some other guys as well that I was really impressed with in the G1 And I don't know let's let's start off with this guy here first Um, have not seen too many customs of him yet. I've seen a few but I'm going to show you guys, we have Tetsuya Naito and I was just blown away with this head scan and I still am, this looks so much like Naito, it's like crazy. If you guys know Naito, this looks like, like an official action figure hat just made for him in my opinion, it's like crazy how good this looks. Like holy crap man this is this looks just like Naito 
you know, I was like so excited when he sent me the picture, but in person it looks like even better. Like, this is crazy. The attire, there you go. Knight, of course, the winner of the G1 this year. Destino is finishing maneuver. Of course, a part of Los Ingo Benables de Japón. And there might be some more members of that stable in this package here. So I would say we take a look what else we got. Um, we got a, a figure that I have never seen someone make before. But I was really impressed with him in the G1 as well. And he's now going to take on Okada for the championship at King of Pro Wrestling. Which should be awesome. We have Evil. And this looks like crazily good i have never seen an evil custom before but this is just this is just mind-blowing you know maybe a, a few of you guys can't really relate of like how crazy i'm going for these customs but if you're a new japan fan you know like how how crazy this is like evil holy shit the head skin also just looks it looks so much like him this is crazy just look at all the detail in the head scan, in the hair. I mean, I always thought like Evil would make like a really cool looking action figure. And I think this is proof right here. This is crazily good. Oh my God. Like, I, I don't get too excited for figures anymore um, because I collected for such a long time, but this stuff is like crazy. Like, wow. Look at this evil. This is just crazily good in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think, but this evil, just the head skin, like, you know, there's like no official evil head skin. It looks so much like him. That's crazy. We got evil and we have one more guy. Also part of Los Ingo Benables. Uh, we got We got Hiromu Takahashi and I've been like a really big fan of him this year. Um, the matches he had with Kushida were like incredible. The one at Dominion was like crazily good. Like Dominion had the Okada and um, Omega rematch which was like crazy. But also on the card you know there was a really good Naito Tanahashi match. But but the um, junior uh, title match with Takahashi and Kushida was just absolutely insane as well. And I always thought, man, this would make such a cool looking action figure. And just look at, at how cool this looks on an action figure. Hiromu Takahashi. Crazy. With the red hair detail here. I'm like, I'm like so happy that um, I placed this order. Man. Ticking time bomb, Hiromu Takahashi. Um, yeah, it's, this is not the Tokyo Pim Takahashi, by the way, if you're thinking that. It's another one. Um, yeah, this is so crazily good. Like, I'm so happy we got... LIJ, at least a part of LIJ. Like, my three favorite members of LIJ. Crazily awesome here. And... There might be something else in here. Um, not really a figure, but um, you know, okay, we have accessories. We got an Los Ingobernables de Japón um, cap. I think it really won't fit Naito because of the hair. Yeah, it doesn't really fit him, but it's okay. I mean, it kind of. Well, it looks a little bit weird if you put it on him, but yeah, it's still cool to have the cap. Maybe you can put it on evil. On evil, it, it, it works. There you go. Um, the cap, and also someone that can't be missing with Los Ingobernables, and especially a Hiromu Takahashi. We got 
Daryl and this is like crazy like 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 how we made Daryl like I asked that last minute if he could do that and this is just awesome like this is crazy we got Hiromu Takahashi with Daryl Takahashi like some of you guys who don't watch New Japan Pro think I'm crazy but um yeah Hiromu Takahashi has this how do you call it plush animal cat it's Daryl and you know it also has been like part of a lot of storylines like Daryl got ripped apart by Bad Luck Fale and you know I think the Young Bucks hit a Melzer driver on him once so yeah it's pretty crazy to have this um, Hiromu Takahashi and Daryl as an accessory absolutely crazy um, yeah, I'm so happy about all of this stuff, man. Really haven't been so excited about figures in a long while. So crazily good. Uh, let's put them all together again here. Let's um, stand them up and take a final look at all of them. Here we have them all again. We have uh, Testu Unido, King of Darkness, Evil. We have Ticking Time Bomb, Hiromu Takahashi. We have Minoru Suzuki, and we have a Cody. Crazy, like, my new Japan collection is growing, so that's really cool. Uh, really happy about all of these, men. and if you guys are new Japan fans, you probably um, agree with me how awesome these are. And if you're not watching New Japan, you definitely should. Um, definitely way more entertaining than what WWE is producing currently. But yeah guys, hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave me a like. Watch the big collection video from yesterday. I don't know if I get it uploaded today, but from a few days ago slash yesterday. So yeah guys, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of these figures. And I see you all in the next one. You